Chapter 10, Lesson 1, Volume of Rectangular Prisms. You will learn how to find the volume of a rectangular prism and how to find the missing dimensions of a rectangular prism when given the area. A three-dimensional figure has length, width, and height. A prism is a three-dimensional figure with two parallel bases that are congruent polygons. In a rectangular prism, the bases are congruent. Rectangles. Volume is the amount of space inside a three-dimensional figure. It is measured in cubic units, which can be written using abbreviations and an exponent of three, such as units cubed or cubic units or inches cubed. Decomposing the prism tells you the number of cubes a given size it will take to fill the prism. The volume of a rectangular prism is related to its dimensions, length, width, and height. Another method to decompose a rectangular prism is to find the area of the base, capital B, and multiply it by the height. The volume V of a rectangular prism is the product of its length L, width W, and height H. So here's a rectangular prism and its rectangular bases. Those bases are congruent, which means they have the same size, shape, area, perimeter, everything. Now the volume is really saying how many blocks would fill up that shape. Volume is the space inside of a shape. And another way to think of it is find the area of the base, the bottom layer, and then multiply it by the height to figure out the volume. We are going to be using the formula V equals LWH. So find the volume of the rectangular prism. Start with your formula. Volume equals length, width, height. Volume equals, well, here's the base. So the length and the width are 12 and 10, doesn't matter which is which. And the height of the prism is 6. So 12 times 10 times 6. Volume equals. I'm just going to multiply left to right. 12 times 10 is 120 times 6. We'll do that off to the side. 6 times 0 is 0. 6 times 2 is 12. And 6 times 1 plus 1 is 7. So the volume equals 720 centimeters cubed. It's cubed which represents the number three, because there are one, two, three dimensions. Letter B, find the volume of the rectangular prism. Here's our base. Here's one dimension of the base. And here's the other dimension of the base. Because remember, this side length is the same as this side length is the same as this side length. Okay, so they're all five. And which means our height is also five. If all the dimensions are the same, what type of rectangular prism is this? It's not a square, but it's a cube. Okay, so here we go. Volume equals length, width, height. Volume equals five times five times 5. Volume equals, well, 5 times 5 is 25. Bring down the other one. 25 times 5. Think of quarters. You have 5 quarters. 25 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 2 is 10. Carry the 2. You get a volume of 125 inches cubed. Letter C. 
A cereal box has the dimensions shown. What is the volume of the cereal box? Now, you could, we have fractions, actually mixed numbers in here. You could either change them to decimals or change them to improper fractions, whichever method you prefer. I like changing to decimals, but I know a lot of you like changing to mixed numbers, so I'll change them to mixed numbers. Eight's fine the way it is. Twelve and a half, twelve times two is twenty-four, plus one is twenty-five over two, and three and one-fourth. Three times four is twelve, plus one is thirteen over four. This would be our length, width, and height. Volume equals length, width, height. Volume equals, since I'm dealing with fractions, I'm going to put that 8 over 1. The width, 13 over 4. And the height, 25 over 2. Volume equals. Okay, let's multiply these, two, these three fractions. 8 times 13 is first. 8 times 3 is 24. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 2 is 10, so that's 104, but then I have to multiply it by 25. Five times four is 20. Five times zero plus two is two. Five times one is five. Cross it off, put a placeholder. Two times four is eight. 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 1 is 2, add them up, looks like our numerator is 2600, divided by 1 times, look at your denominators, 1 times 4 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, Then we do division. 8 into 2600 equals into 26 three times. Minus 24 is 2. Bring down a 0. 8 into 20 twice. Minus 16 is 4. Bring down another 0. And 8 into 40, a perfect five times. So volume equals 325 inches cubed, or cubic inches. If you change those to decimals, 12 and a half would have been 12.5, and 3 and a quarter would have been 3.25, but you still would have gotten our same answer of 325. Letter D. Find the volume of a rectangular container if its measurement measures are 4 inches in length, 5 inches high, and 8.5 and inches wide. Let me show an example of changing this to a decimal. So let's, for this problem, change 8.5 to 8.5. We start with our formula. Volume equals length, width, height. You, of course, can change it to a, uh, an improper fraction if you prefer. doesn't really matter. When we get to the next part, uh, we... If we've got fractions, we probably want to change them to decimals just to make life a little bit easier. Okay, volume equals 4. Our width is 8.5. And our height is 5. <clears throat> now remember, volume or multiplication is commutative, which means I can multiply in any order I would like. So to be honest with you, I want to take care of that 4 and 5 first. That's an easy one I can do in my head. 4 times 5 is 20, and then bring down your 8.5. Now I only have one multiplication problem to do on the side. So 20 times 8.5. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 2 is 10. Cross it off. Placeholder. 8 times 0 is 0. 8 times 2 is 16. Add them up. We get our volume equals, oh, forgot our decimal point. I have 1 behind, so 1 behind, 
our volume is 170 cubic inches or inches cubed. Part two, find mis missing dimensions. To find missing dimensions of a rectangular prism, replace the variables with known measurements, then solve for the unknown measurement. So it's the same that we same thing we've done with area, we just are doing it with volume now. So our missing dimension is height, which means these are our length and width, and it gives us our volume. So start off with the formula. Volume equals length width height. We know the volume is 84. So 84 equals length of 4, width of 6, and bring down that H because we don't know it. The first thing I need to take care of is this 4 times 6. So 84 equals 4 times 6 is 24. Bring down the H. Now I have a simple one-step problem. Divide both sides by 24. And I'm doing that because this is 24 times H. To get rid of it, I need to divide it. So 24 into 84. Well, let's try 3. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. Looks like 3 times minus 72 is 12. Decimal point, 0. Let's try 5. 25, 125. Okay, so 5 doesn't work. Oh, made a mistake here. This should be 24. I knew something looked wrong. Let's fix that. Okay, let's try that again. I'm going to do it over here this time. 24 times 5, 20, 12. There it is. That looks better. So minus 120 is 0. So 3.5 meters equals the height. It's not area, so it's not squared. It's not volume, so it's not cubed. When we're finding just a simple dimension, we just put the unit with no exponent. Letter B, find the missing dimension. So sometimes they can list it for you. It's a rectangular prism, <clears throat> which probably should have been mentioned in the problem, but that's what this whole lesson is about. Length, width, height. Our volume this time is 94.5 equals. Our length is 7. Our width is unknown. And our height is 3. So again, I want to take care of the multiplication first. It's okay that they're not immediately next to each other. 7 times 3 is 21. Bring down the W. I have a nice simple problem. So divide by 21. Width equals. So let's do this division. 21 into 94.5. I'm going to carry my decimal up so I don't forget about it. Uh, 21, let's try 4. I'm thinking 20, 40, 60, 80. So let's try 4 and see where we get. So this is 4 and 8. I definitely can't fit another 21 in there. So I would say 4 minus 84 is 10. Bring down the 5. 105, let's try 5. 21 times 5 is exactly 105. So our width of a rectangular prism is 4.5 kilometers.